So what is the lion diet? The lion diet is a stricter version of the carnivore diet, which includes only eating ruminant animals, salt, and water. The most common ruminant animal is going to be beef, and so you may see that the lion diet is just beef, salt, and water, but it also includes other ruminants such as goat, lamb, bison, deer, elk, etc. Ruminant is just in referral to the animal's type of digestive system. These animals typically are more nutrient dense. So the carnivore diet includes any animal-based foods, any animal products. So that includes fish, chicken, poultry, red meats, also dairy if you can tolerate it. So the carnivore diet may seem extreme, but the lion diet is like a whole new level of restrictiveness. But the idea with the lion diet is that it's the ultimate elimination diet. Some animal products and foods on the regular carnivore diet can be inflammatory for certain really sensitive people or people who have really serious chronic conditions that they're looking to heal or improve. That's why some people resort to the stricter version of the carnivore diet called the lion diet. It's not something for everyone, it's not something that's easy, but you're, if you're extremely ill and really can't find anything to help at all, then it might be something to look into. Obviously, I'm not here to give anyone advice or tell anyone what to do with their diet, but this is something that I decided to try for my severe chronic illnesses. I've been diagnosed with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, Postural Orthostatic Tachycardia Syndrome, which is a form of dysautonomia, QRI malformation, intranal hypertension, <laughs> tether cord syndrome, gastroparesis, the list goes on. I've had five brain and neurosurgeries in the last years, lots of hospital stays, I've tried lots of different types of treatments, and I stumbled upon the carnivore diet sometime last year and started to look into it more and more and was honestly just amazed at the healing stories that I found. I've been doing the carnivore diet for over five months now and the lion diet for over three months now. I'm really glad that I started with the regular carnivore diet because that kind of allowed me to take time to adjust to this way of eating, learn more about different cuts of meats and how to cook them, and just adjust to the very different lifestyle and not just going straight from like cleanish standard American diet all the way to just eating beef, salt, and water. I originally wanted to do that and planned on doing that, but it just t turned out to be too much for me. At the time, I was significantly underweight, and so that was another concern for me that I really needed to make sure I didn't lose more weight. And so that's something else about the carnivore and lion diet is that it is a health and weight optimization diet. So if somebody needs to gain weight, then they can on this diet. If they would like to lose weight, they can. But obviously it's all about getting people to feel better. And it's amazing how many people have done so well with this way of eating. Basically the idea with the lion diet is not necessarily to stay on it forever, but to help your body to heal and hopefully be able to introduce other animal-based foods or clean keto foods in the future and be able to tolerate them well. It all depends on the person and the sensitivity level. It's definitely not an easy thing to do and it's definitely a hard transition and so I think a lot of people um, get really discouraged by that or decide to give up because those first few weeks or even months can be really, really difficult. But it often proves to be very worth it and it's proved to be worth it for me in my case. I am five months into carnivore and have definitely seen benefits from it. I'm far from being healed but I was very severely ill for five years so I figured that it wouldn't be something that would help me to heal overnight. It has definitely been an interesting life experience to say the least to do this way of eating and very eye-opening to me of how important nutrition is to our health and how damaging processed foods and sugars can be to our bodies and how inflammatory they can be and how they can aggravate diseases even if they're genetic and something that has really helped me with doing the lion diet is trying a variety of different cuts of beef and trying different cooking methods and things like that to try to keep things interesting and 
keep variety on a very limited diet. To me, my health means everything and so I'm willing to do anything to get it back and be able to start living life again and so if that means just eating beef, salt and water, <laughs> I'm okay with it. Um, but I'm honestly surprised at how many different dishes and things that you can make with just eating beef and not to mention you can also make bone broth with beef bones or other ruminant animal bones. Also organ meats are something to consider, but if you do have autoimmune or health issues and you go too fast with organs or broth, then you may actually have what's called a Herxheimer or detox reaction where you might actually feel sicker after eating it um, if you go too quickly with them. So just be careful with that if you're someone that is sensitive. Um, like me. As for supplementation, things to consider are electrolytes. I just use unflavored electrolytes and sprinkle it onto my food and always into my water. I use iodine drops because I'm not consuming seafood or iodized salts, so that means that I likely have an iodine deficiency, so I just have a couple of iodine drops a day. And other than that, I don't really do any other supplementation. There are a lot of carnivores that don't supplement at all and are able to get all the nutrients they need just from animal products. I'm not saying that this would work for everyone, but it has certainly helped many people and so always do your own research. Always make sure you feel good about something before you try it, but I'm just here to share my story with the carnivore diet and hopefully share some interesting tips and tricks along the way. If any of you guys are doing the lion diet or the carnivore diet, let me know how it's going in the comments down below. And be sure to subscribe, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!